took a lot of teamwork and creativity to design this complex for Google. Its design is meant to increase productivity. A look at Google's UK headquarters. Google's long overdue UK headquarters in King's Cross, London will be futuristic on the inside and textured from the outside. With the same length as the renowned Shard skyscraper is tall. This ground scraper will have pools, basketball courts, an indoor theatre, massage parlours and of course, nap pods for Googlers. Designed to be a mix of interchangeable elements that make the building flexible enough to remain relevant for years to come, this new Building A is creating plenty of excitement for the region as one of the newest Google campuses. In this video, we're taking a look at Google's UK headquarters. Before we jump in, don't forget to click the like button, share, subscribe and press the notification bell for more updates. Out of glass in the construction, natural light is plentiful, making a comfortable workplace. Located on a long, thin plot of land behind King's Cross train station in London is Google's new UK headquarters. This one million square foot building is expected to build on Google's widely known culture and will revitalize the area as one of the best places to work in the tech world. King's Cross used to have plenty of historical and commercial relevance, owing to the Regent's Canal access in the 19th century and steam railways which served industry. Despite seeing the area regress as industries failed and fled, recent times have seen the location find a modern resurgence, with the neighborhood going through a multi-decade investment program towards development. Back in 2013, when Google first leased the land at King's Cross, then London Mayor Boris Johnson was enthusiastically promoting Old Street, an area two miles to the east, where London's Silicon Roundabout can be located. Old Street continues to attract startups, while King's Cross has emerged as the new tech quarter. The area on the northern fringe of central London is an area that is now being referred to as the Knowledge Quarter, with nearby prestigious institutions such as University College London, the Wellcome Trust, the British Museum, as well as a number of biotech and AI startups being just mere steps away. In fact, even Facebook plans on putting up their own building development within King's Cross. The establishment of a Google campus in the area could accelerate this tech hub creation and could further revitalize the now thriving locale. In some ways, we tried to communicate aspects of the at I.O. yesterday. You know, I've always felt at Google and at Alphabet. The place is very accessible, with transportation easily connected by the Tube, which can bring you anywhere in London in mere minutes, or even nearby EU countries through train. Google's London Landscraper. Google's new UK headquarters will be an 11-story building that is already dubbed a Landscraper, a horizontal skyscraper that will stretch out for 330 meters longer than the 310 meter height of the Shard skyscraper alongside the railway lines that run in and out of King's Cross Station. This gleaming glass building will stand 11 stories tall, topped with a roof garden, a three-lane 25 meter swimming pool, an indoor basketball and football court, an indoor theatre, massage parlours and nap pods for weary Googlers. There will also be a 300 meter long roof terrace that will contain wildflower gardens and areas that are being called the fields where areas for relaxation can be found. Tough for them to sometimes see the forest uh, instead of the trees, and, and so it's a lot of what real life is about, I think. On the roof will also be a trim trail for runners and walkers, with tranquil rest areas surrounded by meadow and woodland plants. This area is dedicated for the opportunity to exercise, meet and engage away from the office floors. Then there's the roof deck amphitheatre in the northwest corner of the building, which will provide visitors with a majestic 270 degree view of London. This building will be Google's first fully owned and designed Google building outside the US and has chosen Heatherick Studios and Danish architect Bjark Ingels Group to spearhead the project. The two groups designed the 2012 London Olympic Cauldron. British designer Thomas Heatherick is also the man who designed four huge hangars for Google's headquarters in Mountain View, as well as the new London Route Master bus, as well as the controversial Garden Bridge over the River Thames and the vessel structure in New York. The designers intend to build the UK campus around a natural theme and will be the biggest use of wood in any facades in London, so the building will age and have texture. The new building will feature a family of interchangeable elements to ensure that the building and its workplace will stay flexible for years to come. The building has several floors containing floor-to-ceiling windows, incorporating green facades into the building's design. The building itself is formed of three component parts identified as roof plane, workspace volume and ground plane. The roof plane will have all the roof amenities. The workspace volume will feature all offices. The central core where Googlers can meet with meeting rooms, cafes and other facilities, as well as the ground plane down at the street level, 
where the public can access shops and cafes built into the Google building. The building is designed to be low energy and sustainable, with timber mullions on the south side of the street which can rotate 180 degrees to minimize glare through staff screens as the sun moves across the sky. It boasts creativity. Walls are lined with whiteboards waiting to be filled with ideas. The 1 million square foot building was originally set to start construction in 2013, which would have gotten the building ready for 2016. However, initial plans were scrapped by Google co-founder Larry Page for allegedly being too boring. Google then went on to take a lease at 6 Pancras Square, an existing property 200 meters away, with active Googlers already taking on office space. This new building, combined with the current 6 Pancras Square building and a planned third structure, will create a Google campus in London with the potential to house 7,000 Google employees, with 4,500 employees already set for the Landscraper building alone. After acquiring the services of Heatherick and Ingalls, construction on King's Cross's building began in 2018. But due to numerous setbacks, especially with the onslaught of the global pandemic, construction has been delayed quite significantly. It's expected that the building might be fully operational by 2023. Nevertheless, the King's Cross building is already going ahead and is reported to cost around £1 billion. While this is quite an expensive build for London, it's not that extravagant for big tech. The dots between your experience and roles at Google. There's no one kind of Googler, so we're always looking for people who bring new perspectives. Apple spent roughly $5 billion for their HQ in Cupertino, California. And despite Google's current plans to focus on a hybrid model that would include both office and remote working, the company intends to reaffirm its presence in the UK by leasing an additional 70,000 square feet of land close to the skyscraper. At the same time, Google is said to be acquiring enormous acres of land at Broxbourne in Hertfordshire intended for a future data centre. This move solidifies Google's intent at establishing a well-based network in a campus away from the US, right in north-central London. This new benchmark for workplace design at Google's London HQ will also be a venue for the massive talent that can be found right in the locale. Google's CEO Sundar Pichai has remarked about the great future found in the UK with regards to computer science talent, educational institutions, and passion for innovation. This is echoed by London's current mayor Sadiq Khan, who welcomes Google to the city, and that Google's placement of its new intended campus in London is a vote of confidence to the great city, where high-skilled jobs can support growth and show that London is one of the world's leading technology hubs. With Google's expansion strengthening London's reputation as a global leader in digital technology. With construction continuing, we can't wait to see this megastructure that will eventually become a global industry hub. But what do you think about Google's UK headquarters? We'd love to hear what you think, so comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more.